did you know a single tank can weigh as much as 70 cars? It's true, these land battleships are incredibly robust machines. But how do they transform massive slabs of metal into giant tanks? Get ready to find out how these tanks are made. Tanks were created during World War I to traverse difficult terrain, provide protection to troops, and break through enemy lines. The British Army developed the first tank known as the Little Willie in 1915. It was a prototype that led to the creation of more effective models. In 1916, the British introduced the Mark I, the world's first ever tank to see combat. It was designed to cross trenches and provide support to infantry. The debut of tanks at the Battle of the Somme marked a significant moment despite their initial mechanical failures and limited numbers. Between the wars, tank design improved significantly. Innovations included better armor, more powerful engines, and advanced weaponry. Countries like France, Germany, and the Soviet Union began developing their own tank models. During World War II, tanks played a central role, particularly in the German strategy of Blitzkrieg, or Lightning War, which relied on rapid coordinated attacks using tanks, aircraft, and infantry. German panzer divisions such as Panzer IV and the formidable Tiger tank became synonymous with this strategy. The Allies also made significant advances in tank technology. The Soviet T-34 is often credited with being one of the most effective and influential tanks of the war. The American M4 Sherman, though less advanced than some German tanks, was produced in large numbers and played a crucial role in the Allied victory. During the Cold War, tank development continued with a focus on countering potential Soviet advances in Europe. NATO and Warsaw Pact countries developed various models with improved firepower, armor, and mobility. The main battle tank or MBT concept emerged, blending the roles of light, medium, and heavy tanks into a single versatile design. Notable examples include the American M1 Abrams and the Soviet T-72. In modern times, tanks have evolved to incorporate advanced technologies such as reactive armor, composite materials, and sophisticated targeting systems. Tanks remain a crucial component of ground forces, capable of providing direct fire support engaging enemy armor, and serving as a deterrent against potential threats. Recent conflicts have seen tanks being used in various environments, from urban warfare to desert operations. The future of tanks may involve unmanned variants, increased automation, and integration with other advanced battlefield technologies, such as drones and networked warfare systems. The process of making a tank starts with design and planning. Engineers and designers create detailed plans for the tank, considering factors like armor, firepower, speed, and mobility. They use computer software to design the tank and run simulations to test how it will perform in different conditions. Next, the materials for the tank are chosen. Tanks are made from strong materials like steel and composite armor to provide protection. Other materials include high-grade aluminum, titanium, and special ceramics. These materials are selected for their strength, durability, and ability to withstand extreme conditions. Tanks are constructed using steel armor plates and castings of varying thickness, with initial metal treatment to prevent corrosion. These plates are cut to size using techniques like laser, flame, or stamping, depending on the material's thickness, and then sanded to remove excess metal. Once the components are cut, they are positioned in a special jig for welding. This welding process is carried out at extremely high temperatures, reaching up to 18,000 degrees Fahrenheit. This jig is designed to rotate, allowing welders to work from above at all times, which is the optimal position for achieving strong, consistent welds. The ability to rotate the jig ensures that welds can be performed efficiently and with high precision, maintaining the quality and strength of the joints. Proper welding is essential as it holds the hull components together, forming a solid and durable structure. The assembly process begins with the construction of the bottom hull. This involves welding together the base components, creating the foundational structure of the tank. Once the bottom hole is complete, the top hole, which has been prepared separately, is positioned and welded onto the bottom hole. This step combines the two major parts of the hole into one cohesive unit, forming the main body of the tank. The accuracy of the previous cutting and welding steps ensures that these parts fit together perfectly. The turret is made from high-strength materials such as rolled homogeneous armor or RHA steel, composite materials, and sometimes ceramics. These materials are chosen for their ability to withstand impacts and protect the crew. 
Smaller parts and detailed components are machined to exact specifications using CNC or computer numerical control machines. Next, the installation of the engines is a crucial step. Modern tanks are equipped with two engines, a main engine and an auxiliary engine. The main engine is powered by jet fuel and serves as the primary propulsion system for the tank. It generates the necessary power to propel the tank forward and maneuver it on the battlefield. In addition to the main engine, a diesel-powered auxiliary engine is installed as a backup system. This engine ensures that the tank remains operational in the event of a main engine failure, providing reliability and continuity during critical missions. Electrical systems are then installed throughout the tank. These systems are vital as they power all the tank's functions, ranging from basic movement to complex targeting and communication systems. Proper installation and integration of these electrical systems are essential for the tank's operational efficiency and effectiveness in the field. The mounting system for the main gun is installed. This includes the gun cradle and recoil mechanisms that allow the gun to fire and absorb the recoil. Advanced targeting and fire control systems are also installed. These include range finders, ballistic computers, and gun stabilizers. Seats and control panels for the gunner and commander are also installed. Finally, the tracks are installed. These tracks are massive, each weighing over 2 tons and stretching over 60 feet. The tracks are fundamental to the tank's mobility, allowing it to traverse a variety of terrains, from muddy fields to rocky inclines, at speeds of up to 44.7 miles per hour. The robust design of the tracks ensures the tank can move swiftly and handle the rigors of different battlefield conditions, providing a significant tactical advantage. The tank is painted with a base coat and then with camouflage patterns suited to the expected operational environment. Special coatings may be applied to reduce infrared and radar signatures. Once assembled, the tank is subjected to rigorous testing on a two-mile road test track at the manufacturing plant. This track includes a series of obstacles designed to test the tank's components and ensure they operate correctly. The tank must navigate these obstacles to confirm that all systems including the engine, tracks, and electrical systems are functioning as expected. Now, let's learn more about some amazing tanks in the world. The Leopard 2A7, manufactured by Kraus Maffei Wegman, or KMW, is a formidable main battle tank, or MBT, known for its exceptional performance. It features a 120mm L55 smoothbore gun capable of firing advanced kinetic energy and high explosive rounds, providing superior firepower. The tank's composite armor with modular add-on armor offers enhanced protection against various threats. Powered by an MTU MB873 KA501 diesel engine that delivers 1,500 horsepower, the Leopard 2A7 combines robust armor with impressive mobility. The M1A2 Abrams SEP V3 produced by General Dynamics Land Systems is an iconic MBT with a reputation for battlefield dominance. Its primary armament is a 120mm M256 smoothbore gun, supplemented by a 50 caliber M2 machine gun and a 7.62mm M240 machine gun. The tank's armor includes composite layers with depleted uranium, providing unparalleled protection. The Honeywell AGT-1500 gas turbine engine generating 1500 horsepower ensures remarkable mobility. The T-14 Armada Developed by Ural Vagen Zavod represents a new generation of Russian MBTs with innovative features. It's armed with a 125mm 2A821M smoothbore gun that can fire armor-piercing rounds and guided missiles. The tank's advanced composite armor, reactive armor, and active protection system, or APS, provide significant defensive capabilities, including an unmanned turret and superior crew survivability features. So there you have it, that's how these incredible machines are built, transforming from regular metal into powerful tanks. What was your favorite part of the tank building process? Let us know in the comments below. We hope you enjoyed this journey into the world of tanks. Be sure to subscribe for more awesome engineering adventures.